Welcome back guys, um, so we're going to continue on the build, I wasn't sure I was going to make any more videos but it's been an interesting ride. Uh, so in the last video I talked about the play in these, now I had it really loose on one side and really tight on the other side, now I'd just like to say that having it so tight that it doesn't fall due to gravity is way too tight and it makes the, the ride really rough, like it seems to pick up almost imaginary nicks and the wheels really get stuck on them, so don't make it that tight, but that was just a demonstration of the fact that with the adjustment in it, you can get it really tight, well at least this version of the, the uh, Tronics, I could get it that light, uh, that tight, or that loose. Now, some of the issues I have had is this little bolt down here it actually had a burr on it, so it kind of kicked this on an angle, or this angle, or that angle, depending on where it was rotated. So I had to actually file that down. Not a big deal, but it, it did make a difference. I'll probably replace that. Just turn it around. So other things I have done is I've actually put this, as far as I can tell, I believe, upside down to the instructions. And that is, as someone else has pointed out, the amount of service area actually holding this brass uh, carriage up, when it's up the other way, is virtually nothing. Because there's just the slightest thin hair in here, and actually mine's between the, the carriage, I guess, and this black plastic 3D printed and that's actually like you can see right through mine and then it just means the nut just has the slightest bit on here holding it so it makes so much more sense to rotate them 180 degrees because because of course all the weight is sitting on that now instead of just a slither of two th three millimeter bolts now one issue I have definitely run into and that is these bolts down here now with the normal uh, head bolt, you couldn't adjust this motion backwards and forwards or up and down with the motor in it. And that became aligning everything up, in my opinion, really, really difficult. So I actually pulled those out and replaced them with a hexagon head so I can just use a spanner to, uh, to unscrew them and move them backwards and forwards, which I think is a lot less of a headache. And I have pushed those down as far as I can I like to push them all the way down, which they are, if it had legs all the way down. But this little V bracket would prevent me from then tightening it. It would have been nice had they just made this bracket just that, it is wider than the motor. You could have just made it a, a little bit wider and then you could have got your screw driver in there, but they didn't. Uh, the other thing I have seen uh, people complain about is the height of this bar relative to the motor and I think I basically lucked into getting it right these adjustments on here, heaps of adjustments uh, moving this up and this up and down now had I put this in the wrong place I would have not been able to align the Y with the stepper motor so for interest's sake I have that Push, this is pushed all the way down so the screw is at the top height, not the bottom height and that gave me some play in there it's supposed to have the play to enable me to line that up because I have seen some people so some people's videos and this is like way down here I think which means then the belt runs on the inside of there so that's as far as I've got yeah, hope you've enjoyed that one. See you later, guys. Bye.